Hi everyone! First of all, thank you. If you have watched my first video ever, thank you for the kind words and for your response. Thank you for subscribing. I'm oh, really happy. <laughs> Hope you liked it. Um, if you haven't seen it, please check out my first video. It's all that I've colored last year. Um, and now we are trying my first color along or how I color. Um, and as a guideline for me what I should do, I really like to um, use the coloring checklist challenge by Color and Chat with Sammy. You can find her on Instagram. There's also the link where you can download it and print it for yourself. It's a yearly challenge for you to color with a lot of prompts that you can uh, do and use. Um, I will link her Instagram in the description. And the first one would be color a page that includes a space scene. Try and include space galax galactic elements. And this is absolutely fitting for me since this book Dreamweaver I actually purchased for a space themed uh, picture and um, that's absolutely perfect because I haven't colored it yet and today as a first part I will do it in parts because it will be very long I guess um, as a first part I will just show you how I lay down my marker base in the mythographic books with the Ohuhu alcohol brush markers. I have the 216 set, but I will get the new 104 colors too, for sure. <laughs> um, and I will show you in the first part what I do for the base. So let me just show you what page it will be and it will be of course I didn't mark it this one isn't this cool it's so cool I love it okay just let me get this okay so um, usually I plan my my colors a little bit beforehand at least I have an idea in my idea in my mind what I want to do um, as far as this page goes I just know what I want to do to the helmet for all the rest I have no plan um, but we will just see where it goes I think I will make a base on the cat and on the planets and on the spaceships maybe um, I'm not quite sure if I will do the background in Ohuhu's or in Ink Tents yet. I'm not quite sure. I think that's something I will figure out while we are going through this. So, yeah. So, um, in case you're wondering, yes, I'm one of those persons who swatches his stuff out, otherwise I'm completely lost. I would not find any color whatsoever. Um, I'm one of those persons who really doesn't, don't like swatching. It's, it's boring to me, it's annoying to me, but I have to do it because otherwise I'm just lost. So, um, I know for me that I want to be the helmet white the glass uh, light green and also the space suit probably also whitish grayish kind of like they actually are um, the planets one of them will be pretty sure earth not sure which one of these or earth colors um, and the rest I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> That's it will come to us during the process. So okay. Then I also don't know what color the cat will have, but 
I think we will start with the helmet. Therefore, I would use a pretty bright um, gray, probably. Not sure if I want a cool or a warm gray yet. So, I was thinking on this one, but no. This looks dirty to me. So, let's do this. So, cool gray. Just bear with me. Cool gray, zero. It could be good. Da -da -da -da. Cool gray, zero five. Where is it? Yeah. And the colorless blender. Just to begin with. Okay. So. Ready? Let's do this. If I'm getting quiet in between, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if I will do this completely with talking or if I forgot in between and then have to lay down some music. I'm, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> also, if it's getting a little wobbly, then I just hit the stand with my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let's... Where do I start? Oh, let's start here. It doesn't matter. That's the wrong one. Good start, good start. I have absolutely no specific idea where to start and I am not overthinking actually. I'm just doing what feels natural for me and what I think there would be shadows and stuff, but I really don't overthink my pages because that's when I found myself to get stuck and stress myself out somehow and therefore I try not to do this and just let the hand flow. <laughs> Just blend it out a little bit. And I want to the I want here the light source to come a little bit from the front. Um, but like I said, it's if not then well we will do something about that later. But not not right now. Now I just want to get some kind of uh, color down. I think I will have to add some music at some point. <laughs> so I'm not sure, I hope in between you can at least see what color I use because I will absolutely forget to tell you in between. And when we come to the stage where I have more than just three markers out, I will switch constantly and then I will absolutely forget what I use. But um, I hope in between it catches up the numbers on the back of the marker. Um. I think, oh, there was the first bump. I think that's the headset. a little bit of more warmish gray too. Yeah, hello Lumis. But do I want the warm gray? One more warm gray. Five. No. No, we will leave it. We will leave it. I can add it later on. It's fine. It's fine. And 
as you can see I'm just going back and forth um, just working with it as long as the marker isn't completely dry as you do with alcohol markers a lot of you pros out there know that um, And um, one question, especially about uh, the markers I use, uh, about the Ohuhus, I get the, the question quite a lot if I uh, had compared them with Copics and stuff. And actually, I, mm, I wouldn't say I've compared them to Copics in the past. Um, I had some Copics a very long while ago but that's when I just had no idea what to do with them and how to use them and um, just for for trying out if, if alcohol markers are for you um, I consider the Copics very expensive and um, I wasn't happy with them and I just couldn't handle them and I just basically throw them and uh, then I wanted to try it again and s that's when the Uhu came out um, for a much better price um, and I tried them because I thought okay they are not that expensive they are okay just to to learn and try again if if markers are for me or not and I bought that's that first set. I think it was pretty much the first one that it came out with the very bright colors. I don't know exactly how they called it that set at that time. Um, I tried that and I really started to like them, to like the, the <coughs> alcohol markers. And then I upgraded to my no, then I bought the, the pastel set when it came out and I like them also and uh, I got more and more into them and got used to them and then I at one point upgraded to the 260 set uh, thinking that when I ran out, uh, run out of one color I can just replace them with Copic um and so replace time as time goes by more and more markers um with Copic and I have my set now for about two years approximately and didn't have to switch out or replace a single marker, not one. Um so even though I'm already coloring with markers for a while <laughs> no I have not still not compared them directly to Copic I haven't I hadn't didn't have the need to I'm absolutely happy with the Ohuhus how they behave um, I don't see the need right now to upgrade to this to these super expensive markers they are just I think they're very, very expensive. So, and therefore, if if I if I would have to answer the question, Copic or Ohuhu, I would say if you're looking for a set, for a full set, I would go for Ohuhu. Me personally, um, because you just get more colors and more markers for your for your money for the same price. If you are just talking about, let's say one, two, three markers, single markers, open stock markers, uh, then I would say, okay, maybe get Copic, because if you are just on the hunt for one or two markers, first of all, Ohuhus aren't available, open stock in every color, they just started actually uh, to sell them open stock, but you will not get every color, so... Um, yeah. Otherwise, I would say, for me personally, I would get a set 
and then start to, to replace the markers that run out or dry out or whatsoever. Uh, replace those with copics and over the time as, as you use it then you will start build up uh, your set of, of copics with colors that you are actually using. That's also a thing. I find myself pretty much in, in uh, many sets. There are always colors that I or most of us probably don't use that much. And um, yeah, so therefore, if you are on the hunt for a specific color anyways, I go with Copic. Uh, otherwise, if you want a set, a big set, that's good, and I think they are good. Um, then go with Uhu. So there's that out of out of the way. And if it's if you see me here, I, as you can see, I'm going through quite or relatively fast and not that super careful. And because it's, I don't plan on finishing this page with only markers. I will go over the most parts or many parts at least uh, with pencils anyway. So even if there's a little bit of of streakiness or plotchiness, it's it's not that bad because I will cover it anyway. Um, also, I don't have the really deep uh, shadings in yet. That's also for a later stage. I build up layers, so yeah. Also, I just see on the camera it looks way lighter than it actually is. Generally. A little bit more true. Okay. Ah, oh, now I have to decide mm -hmm. because some some parts I want to be green in here too, just to get it a little more balanced. Um, just thinking. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's do these. These uh, would not be green. Okay, so right now you're sitting there and listening to absolutely nothing. I'm sorry, I will have to see if I can get some how maybe music to at least put it in the background or I will later just cut off the, the voice part and just let you enjoy some music. We will see. Uh, right now I apologize if it's a little quiet. Um, Just not quite sure what to talk about. I think that's something that's easy on streams, right? Right? <laughs> Just talk to people and not sitting here and talking to nobody. I wonder if my, my neighbors can hear me and if they think I'm crazy. This here, a little darker. I 
can already tell that I will be confused in a second because I don't know if this is glass or if this is helmet but I think it's helmet because the shape is just like this I think well well it's it's actually artistical freedom I say so for me it will be like this so it will be helmet If you hear a little bit of noise going around, um, that's uh, the apartment called Plex where I moved in is completely new and the neighbors are still moving in and putting up their stuff and getting their kitchens and uh, yeah putting up their furniture and so sorry in advance if you will hear someone drilling through the walls can happen <laughs> like I said they're all just moving in and getting their stuff together A little darker. And it's just basically now all we can do. And oh my god, is this wobbling the whole time? I just saw that. I'm sorry. Hope you don't get dizzy. Um my setup will change up a little bit, especially with the with the camera holder. Um I'm still missing some shelves and then I will attach the, the holder to them and so it will not wobbly anymore wobble you around anymore um, so but for right now there's just nothing I can do because there's just nothing else where I could attach it, the the holder the camera holder um, so I hope you don't get sick and <laughs> dizzy. Um, like I said in my first video, I'm still trying to figure it out and try to find a s finding a setup that works. Um, and there will be a few changes in the in the future for sure. Also I'm still recording or using my phone as a as a camera. Um so yeah but <laughs> what I realize right now I just told you that I will try to make the light source come from the front. Right now I don't actually have any direction of light source is just hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just what it is. Okay, yeah, then. Okay, let's go to the green part here. I will actually right now not do this glass part here yet. Um, I will actually, when I do this, work from behind to the front. So I will color the cat as soon as I know what color I want it to be. And then after that I will cover the whole thing with green so it it I mean if you if you're looking through a, a colored window or stuff everything that's behind it that you can see has the color of the glass actually um, therefore I will just color what's inside and then um, then yes I will cover it all with green Is that an ear? Is that an ear? W I mean, would would make sense, right? 
Ah, that's an ear. That's an ear. Now it's an ear. This one I will probably, so the inside will also be green, but I think I actually will color this right now because I imagine that these are multiple layers of, of green glass and plastic stuff and thing, and at a certain point if you layer them too much you will not be able to see through anyway, and since you, I don't have a drawing of the cat or the fur that I can see right now, I just imagine it's so thick that you can't see through it anyway. And therefore, I think I can color this already green. And yes, if, if th th that's how my brain works. If you are just sitting there and thinking, so, oh my god, why do, you, why do you think stuff like this? So just color it. Yes, that's, that's how my brain <laughs> works. <laughs> Sometimes I try not to overthink my pages in a way on where I should color what, but I just, I really overthink, so, okay, wh what are the layers, what is the dimension, and where should go what, so let's find the green, woo, okay, I am thinking that I want to be the glass in this color, I hope you can see the spectrum green, think so and so therefore this should be a little darker because if you layer them um, the colors would get darker so let's see what would be fitting be this it's very 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 green but it could fit and that's also just the process of how I'm doing it, just oh, a maybe, but I think I will go with this, with glass green. Uh, da -da 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 -da. What is it? G8. G8. Pretty sure it would not focus at all. Nah. Yeah, it will not, but you saw it's glass green G8. Okay. Oh, and guess what? Oh. It's okay, I don't use that many layers right now, so... But yes, of course, of course, in my very first video I forget to put a protection sheet in between. Of course, I mean... Why not? But let's do it in a second. Let's do it in a second. I use just one of those plastic sheets that you put your documents in. So, and now I actually really start a little bit to put in some variation here and there. 
just not the final ones but just as an as a guideline for myself where I want a few reflections and deeper areas and stuff. I learned in the in the past that I I'm going to or I'm more and more trying to lay down more markers so I wouldn't have to do that much pencil work because the pencil is just always what takes the longest and at a certain point I also lose interest if a, if a page takes too long for me I just at one point I'm just over it <laughs> and then it creates a forever rip okay so just to plan that I will then take the spectrum green that I said I would use for the whole uh, helmet in the glass. Where is it? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, just to blend it together I will go with all of it. So I will not create more patchiness and blotchiness and stuff. that and then we will do the same here. I haven't decided yet if I want this to be white or green. I will cover color this green and then we will see if I like it here. Just I think I will start light maybe to get a little bit of pre-highlights. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Let's call it pre-highlight. I don't mess up the first the first video, the first page and will end up don't like it because I know I will I will definitely not post this if this page doesn't turn out the way I like it and so I will probably never never upload a video of a of a colored page that I don't like or when I'm not happy with it. I think. Okay. Okay, then I want something even deeper, darker than this. What would fit? Where are we? Glass green. Something deeper. Really deep. Emerald green. I need contrast. I want contrast so I go for pretty deep color. It's vivid green. Um, also I see on camera it doesn't again show up quite right. Bear with me. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's better. It's a bit better. Mm. I think I've so so now here is when the fun start begin and my brain starts to overwork. I think I will bring another light green in and it will be the sugar cane. The 
this one. Um, I know you guys are all freaking out like, stop it, I don't have that. But maybe you have. And if not, maybe we'll get it one day. <laughs> I mean, there is a reason for because why everyone wants the bigger sets <laughs> and there is a reason why they sell all the bigger sets uh, because we want all the colors we want all the colors don't we don't we am i the only one no we are not or oh, i am not the only one okay then let's go so at this point it's getting to get a really little bit Finicky, but it's fine. And I barely touch the the paper with a with the tip, barely. So as you can see, even with markers, I try to work very light-handed. I try at least. I mean, at some point you have to touch the page, but I try not to do it that heavy. And yes, we are still in the basing phases. <laughs> basing phase. And uh, yes, I mean, of course, we can do this all with pencils and stuff at the end, but <coughs> this goes faster. For me, at least. Okay, there we have that. And we bring some variation in the green tones here. Get this green a little warmer. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me, the colors look somehow softer than on the camera. That's interesting. Okay. Okay, but. It's fine, we will leave it there. I will not color this one green because I think that would be too much. That's a one, uh, the cool gray zero again. Maybe I could do this green. Do I want to? No, I do not. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. The cool gray zero, cool gray zero five again. Okay. Uh. <coughs> Do I want the inside? I guess this and this are the same, so I will not color this one. I think these will be a green, darker green too, after I've finished. <coughs> yeah, before I will color it. But for now, there will not be gray. So for the inner parts of the helmet, for these ones, we'll look for a deeper grey in a minute, I think, yes, and then I think up here it should be green, because I want to be green. Sh 
sugar cane again. Yeah, I think I like that green better. And then the glass green. And the emerald green. Hmm, I can, can hear the music from the neighbor a little bit. Like I said, I wonder if he can hear me and thinks, okay, she's lost her mind. We're good. But let's be fair. He never took any packages from the postman for me, so. Pff. <laughs> it's okay if he thinks I'm crazy. He doesn't deal with me anyway. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Is this helmet? This here? I think so. But that would mean this is helmet. Uh, this is helmet too. Okay. We are going back to our three. Great. That's all helmet. Oh, damn it. All of this. All of it. the ear. There's a little ear. Um, that's why I was confused because in the helmet the ear is here but the actual ear of the cat is here. Confused? I'm confused. Uh, uh. That way I mean yes, I sometimes get confused, but like I said in my first video, I really love these these teeny tiny details and I'm totally fine with trying to figure it out and if I can just give it my own twists. I'm totally fine with that. That's that's not something where I said, okay, because of this I wouldn't color this. I absolutely would. Um, it's not something that turns me down from a page. I just at one point have to step back a bit and think, okay, I have no idea what it is, I will do it whatever I want. <laughs> at least I think so. Okay, then let's just for whatever reason, make this green. And this here a little button green. Like I said, for whatever reason, I don't know, I just want to. <laughs> okay. It's so not true to color, that's so fascinating how off this is. Guys, all of you that do videos, do you have the same issue? Oh no, that makes it worse. <sighs> I mean, it's, it's near, but it's not there. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I'm pretty sure everyone who does YouTube videos knows what I mean. It's near, but it's not there. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I'm still thinking about the color of the kitty cat. Uh, I have no idea. Okay. Then we will do some more shading in the helmet. And I think... Oh, sorry. We had this as our darker color. Once again, let's let's 
do quite a bit. I think we'll do pigeon blue. It's like a little bit of a more bluish gray, a little more colder gray. Um, so I think that that would work. Pigeon blue, where are you? BG9, there you go. So it's BG9. So that means we are going around the helmet all over again. But just in the darker areas. Or at least where I want it to be darker. Maybe these are not the areas where the artist meant it to be darker, but where I think <laughs> it's darker. I can't see already. I can't see at the end where this helmet appears to be white. I think I'm going a little too far with the shading, but it's okay, it's okay. If it's gray at the end, then it's gray at the end. It's it's all fine, it's all good. Trust the process, trust the process. I have no idea where it takes me, but also it doesn't really matter, right? We will come to somewhere anyhow. And if it's the trash can, it's the trash can. <laughs> How long are we reco Oh my god, 40 f 44 minutes already, that's crazy. I have to speed this up somehow. That's just... Damn it. Oh, am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Okay. I haven't said anything. It's okay. I haven't said anything. Okay. So, considering how long it is already, I think I will go to an hour and just shade a little bit more with you. And then I will do the suit on my own. And I think for the planets and stuff, I will come back again. And for the kitty cat, at least that's the plan. We will see how long it will take me and where we will go. But if we are already on an hour, that's wow. It's crazy. Things I didn't did never think about beforehand that's whew. and I have to rewatch this all over again and hear myself speaking that's that's a thing <laughs> that's a thing <laughs> also, if you hear me say, oh, 44 minutes, and at the point where you're looking at this, it's not 44 minutes, then I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> then something happened. Somehow. But I don't think I will cut out any at anything at this point. Since I heard that many of you don't edit their videos anyway. Those people who are doing YouTube videos. So 
you told me there's no need to edit. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> it's your fault. Blame you. No, just kidding. Just kidding. We will see. We will see. Over here, I think I will go darker, since I imagine, imagine, that there would be a shadow of the spaceship, even though I have absolutely no direction where shadows and lights are coming from, but I just imagine <laughs> that there could be shadows somewhere. And yes, as you can maybe see, I think that's also something why I don't have that many issues with bleeding through or bleeding over the lines because I barely touch the, the paper. I really use very light pressure and just use the very, very tip of the marker. I'm, I'm not quite sure if that's the way you should use these, if there is an actual way you have to use these, but that's just the way for me that works. So, yeah, that's why I don't have that many problems with bleeding over the line and stuff. Um, because I got this question too in the past, so here's the answer, that's why. <laughs> Just use your marker very carefully. Maybe that's also why I haven't used one of those up, because if you're just using the tip, maybe, maybe I'm just throwing it out there. Just bubbling around. Oh no, Christmas is over, stop it. Okay. Ah, but something is missing. It's something doesn't feel right. I have to warm these grays up a little more. It's eh. Not happy, not happy. <laughs> Damn it! I have to stop to say that. I have to stop to say that. Uh, okay, we will use a little bit of warm gray and see where it goes. So the warm gray, zero 05. Uh, if I can find it. Warm gray, zero 01. There, there you go. Whoops. Yes, it looks then a bit dirty, but I can imagine if you're going to space, little kitty cat, it's not all clean over there, right? I could imagine it could be a little dirty here and there. All the stardust. <coughs> sure, sure. All the star dusty glitty glittering kitty litter. Oh hope you didn't hear my stomach crumble uh, crumble and, and making noises. Hi Tonya <laughs> uh, 
so I yeah when when you say you're hungry I always feel you I always feel you absolutely there with you yeah yes I think that's getting better it look, looks a little bit more used and that's more what I'm looking for actually that's better so as you see although I had a plan in my head I did start not the right way so but you can always adjust it's just just paper all good unless you rip it out and throw it away then it's just not something you can adjust but just start over I don't don't think about any specific person at this point no 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 just in general when you rip your pages out then they are gone <laughs> I heard so yes I hope this lo doesn't look too bad on camera but seems to be okay-ish at least and as you can see I'm super careful and uh, yeah no no I'm not so who cares Yeah, that's getting better. That's getting better. Like this more. Oh, I'm already looking forward for the comments to say, No, it was better before. But now you know how to do it. Do it. Do it. Yourself. I showed you. I showed you. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, I'm sure there are people that think uh, it looked better before, but you do what you do. Whatever you like. I'm sure it will not look bad at all. At, a, at the end, I hope. I hope. Okay, now we will blend it out a little bit and then I will turn off the camera and work a little bit on it and then you will see me in a second. First we will see if we can blend this out a little. If not, it's not, not too bad. Just a white pencil at the end. We'll also do a little bit of work, um, but just to soften it a little bit. At this one point I will 
pause for a second. You will not see anything, but you will see the magic happening with the suit. And then we will see. <laughs>